Hello to the people. I am back from Tokyo for the GBB 2023. So let's discuss. Have a little chat. But first. All right, now we got some music going on. All right, so I got there in the end. We had some issues trying to get me there, uh, but I got to Tokyo. That was cool. I love Japan because the food is insane and the people are really nice. So we stayed in a place called Roppongi in Tokyo. When I say we, I mean I was in the same hotel as a lot of the participants of the event and the um, organizers, judges, etc. I went as a judge, by the way. Uh, so I was judging this GBB 2023. I was judging the under 18s and the mains. So I've been back now for a couple of days. I have to say that I am not ill. Uh, and a lot of people got ill. I normally get pretty sick. So that was a surprise to me. But yeah, it was a pretty hectic schedule, especially being really jet lagged because it's, I think, eight hours time difference for me. So it was like, get up late and get straight to doing it, basically. So I was a judge from the first day of the event doing the under 18s. The whole under 18s event was there. I did a workshop for the under 18s the day before though, which was cool. Some solo main were there too. We went over some tips and tricks basically for the battle day and I could already tell that they were crazy on the workshop day. Like they were crazy. Under 18 level was insane. Spoiler alert, just shut it until I put my thumb up. So big up to Jula for winning the under 18s. Yeah, so that was a sick event. Fair play to the under 18s. Then we did the mains. Uh, and the way that I have to judge is as follow. They all do eliminations. I score their eliminations, which is a just a performance. And then the, the best ones go to the battle. And they have a little battle. All the way to the championship. So Judge Dan was there. Focusing and judging, making the best decisions possible. Did I disagree with the judges? Of course. Of course I went the other way loads, didn't I? Because I, I do that, don't I? Did we agree a lot? Yeah, we did. A lot of agreements. The judge panel was stacked. And that was some great times. So, spoiler alert again. Congrats to the winner of the GBB 2023 solo. It's River. Alright, you're back. If you didn't want spoilers. So, yeah. The level was mental. Um, I will talk loads about it. Uh, coming up. I plan to do some analysis for those battles, eliminations, etc. In terms of the event, uh, the venue was nice. The sound was quite nice. The workflow was really good. The timings was great. And the most exciting part to me was the, the level of the competitors. It was like, so when I talk about the level, I don't mean at the highest. The highest was really strong. I just mean the overall level, the general level of the people involved was heightened. So people were less weak. That's a good way to put it. They all really smashed it. So that was really, really fun to judge. And it was a tiny bit stressful, but mostly easy and, and good because I have a lot of my philosophies that I just stick by. It makes it easy and fast for me to think, make my choice. But yeah, they turn up. There were some hefty prize uh, pools for the winners. The under 18 got like uh, maybe $3,000 or 5000 I can't remember. One of them. And the solo was $20,000. So this was a humongous improvement to the previous. And we had these uh, food boxes. We call them the bento box. Like a food thing prepared for you. Because think about it, right? Sometimes I was there from like 1pm until 10pm. So I'm there for my whole day almost. So I'm eating there. And the food there is always good. Like even the boxes, they're really good. Because the food in Japan is crazy. Damn, I love it. So yeah, good experience, good time there. The event went well, so shout out to everybody involved for that. And I noticed that I am more recognized in Japan than the European countries. I went to Japan last year. But it was a bit more different this time. 
probably because I was in Tokyo longer. So we had to find alternative routes to get back to my hotel. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be out for way too long speaking to people. But it was really, really nice to chat to people, get some pictures, have a laugh, sick stuff. I wanted to do some pre-predictions in a video, actually. And I, and I didn't. But it, my predictions are quite good, to be honest. I'll probably talk about it more in following content. And I'm just struggling to identify the winners of every category right now, so I won't do that. But big up to all of them. It was also really good to chill with some of the judge panel and some of the participants. Because a lot of my mates went, to be honest, like friends I've made through the beatbox scene. So I had some good chill times with them. I will mention just a couple of the top moments I remember from the battles that I judged. I just remember the under 18 winner. I won't say again for spoils, but his level was crazy. And it was a really interesting final. It was a really solid level solo final as well. And also, I just want to say, oh my God, Dilip's round. <laughs> there was this one round. <laughs> there was a lot of rounds, to be honest, guys. But that one round was crazy. You're just going to have to wait and watch all the content. But yeah, that was good times. And then I chilled in Shibuya Center, hanging around for a while. And then I caught some of the Seven to Smoke battle event, which is another beatbox battle. Seven in a row. And I ain't going to lie to you. I was pretty tempted to actually enter and battle. I was in shit condition though. Like my throat was wrecked. I was feeling a bit ill whilst I was there. We also turned up way too late. I was just chilling in the city with some of the judges. And you had to do a pre thing. But the, the actual, uh, the seven to smoke battling was also so sick. And I just kind of like battled them a bit <laughs> when I was watching it. Like I kind of observed what they were doing and just did a bit to myself just to to check through do a little battle in my head in that moment <laughs> and um spoiler so don't watch uh big up to alexinio for winning that one. Oh, a humongous thing for me at the gbb was the beatboxer vatang if you watched any of my wild card watching content um i had vatang third place in the wild card stage but he didn't make the top 25 to progress i had him third though so I obviously fanboy or whatever. No, I have my reasons. He is insane. And oh my God, I was chilling with him. Oh my God. And he went on stage a couple of times. <laughs> oh my God. Vatang is so good at beatboxing. It's a joke. We also had a mental after party night where I ended up going on stage. Uh, fantasy battling, footbox G. And there was loads of fantasy battles. That was just mental. I can also just answer a couple of questions or clear up in this thing. So the first thing, first thing, the first thing. <laughs> oh my God, English, English language. Yeah. Uh, why didn't I perform? A lot of people are asking. So just to make that clear, I communicated it previously uh, that I was up for performing, but it became unavailable. There was no slots for me to perform. Which felt disappointing because I'd have loved to have performed at the event. But there's respect to the schedule. And the performances on the actual event were crazy. So sick stuff. But that's why. I also may have got some extra footage for you guys to look for forward to. So just wait for that. And I also did record some other collaboration stuff a little bit. Oh my god, guys. One of the nights, I was with Freddy. Um, Hobbit and then Spider Horse, so Gene and Chris, some of my good mates. They are in the scene. We had a uh, we had a certain restaurant meal that I actually teared up because it was that good. <laughs> actually teared up. <laughs> so shout out to uh, Gene and Chris for for getting in that one. That was wow. Uh, straight after that uh, restaurant, I remember we just went straight into the street. And then there were some English fellas. <laughs> no, some guys from the UK. And it was like, you're D-Lo. I was like, yeah. Are you D-Lo from the Sidemen video? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a way to know me, I guess. <laughs> so big up Sidemen for that one, I guess. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, also, I managed to play Pokemon Go when I was out there. Damn, here crazy. 
Pokemon Go was crazy there. I got a shiny. Oh my god, guys. I was hunting for a shiny when I was there. And I and I didn't think I had one. I flew all the way back here, home. Sad, didn't get a shiny. And then I check again, and I did. So I'll show you it. Oh my days. Go on, focus. Oh my god. Check it out. Look where it caught. Wait, does it show you yet? Somewhere down here, look. You can say. There you go, look. Caught in, in Ota, Tokyo. Damn, that's a cool one for my Pokemon. Catch a cube bone and turn it to a Marowak. Now, just another little chat for you. I'm going to upload every day this month. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for it. I've clearly come back inspired. I'm motivated. So I've got tons of ideas. Just going to have to do them, right? Which is a sticky one because I've got zero right now. Just this one that's out right now. I got zero, but I've I've got tons of ideas and I'm going to go ahead and work hard. So you can see loads of videos. We're about 7k away from 400k on this channel. Maybe I can hit it before the month ends. Let's see. But yeah, basically, great times in Japan. I am back. I am going to be bringing out loads of stuff. I don't actually know when the GBB plans to release their footage. But as soon as the relevant category is involved, I will pop up and we'll go from there. So look forward to content all month. See you guys tomorrow then, I guess. Whatever it will be. <laughs> I got no plan right now. See you tomorrow.